Thank you so much, uh, Lauren and Sarah, for organizing this event and uh, for having me to share some music with you all. And uh, I'm really excited to uh, play some music, uh, different types of music from different genres. Uh, it's not going to be uh, too long uh, of an event because also we're hoping to do this event uh, live. Hopefully, I will get you get to meet all of you in person in the future uh, after this pandemic is over. Hopefully. Uh, uh, so I'm gonna start by uh, Beethoven's Sonata, uh, Opus 10, number two. So Beethoven wrote uh, 32 sonatas. Uh, I'm gonna play Opus 10, number two, which is a really joyful and uh, actually very quite short uh, in comparison to many of his other sonatas. Uh, so I'm gonna play the Opus 10, number two in F major, and it has three movements, uh, three short movements. Uh, the first mo movement is going to be a upbeat, fast, allegro movement. The second movement is going to be allegretto, which is a moderate tempo, uh, not too fast, not too slow. And the last movement is going to be very exciting and very fast and uh, joyful. So I hope you all enjoy and uh, we'll, uh, I'll introduce the next piece that I'll be playing. Uh, so I'm going to be playing three pieces today and uh, we'll have our Q&A session. Uh, hopefully I'll get to answer some of your questions. Hope you enjoy. Here's Beethoven. Thank you. 
piece that I'm going to be performing would be a folk song from uh, Afghanistan. Uh, it's a song uh, by an artist uh, who was actually murdered uh, in, a, in a gig uh, when he, he in a concert when he had a concert. Uh, he was one of the most uh, popular and one of the most famous artists uh, of his time, and still he is. And people are listening to his music. And his na name was Nasrat Parsa. And uh, this is one of the songs that I uh, usually play uh, when I'm by myself, sometimes when I'm practicing or taking a break from practicing just to play around on the piano. Uh, this, is, this has been always one of my favorite songs uh, to play on the piano. And uh, I basically pretty much improvise on this song. So I, I, I do an improvisation at the beginning and then the head of the song, as, as some jazz musicians call it. So the head of the song and then it's going to be an interlude. Uh, uh, which is the same as introduction, and then it'll be the the, the more improvisation, and then the, uh, the the B section of the song, and then go back to the beginning. Uh, I hope you you guys enjoy.
Thank you. Uh, so the next song is gonna be uh, one of the songs that uh, Schumann wrote, wrote for for piano and uh, uh, and voice. But Franz Liszt, who was a Hungarian composer, he was a composer, pianist, and virtuoso pianist. Very amazing technique, and he wrote it for uh, he transcribed it for piano. So basically, what piano is doing is playing the role of a voice and an accompaniment at the same time, uh, which makes it twice as hard as playing it with, with a singer. Uh, so this piece, I learned it over the summer because I've always wanted to learn this piece and it's quite short, it's about four, four and a half minutes. Uh, and it's one of my favorite pieces and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, and then after this piece, we're gonna have our, uh, our uh, Q and A uh, session. And then at the end of Q and A session, I'll have a really fun piece uh, for you guys that I'm gonna be playing with my, one of my classmates. Uh, so here is Schumann, Schumann slash list, uh, Wittmann, which is a love song. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. 
lot of people will recognize this tune. That's one of the most famous tunes uh, in classical music.